Hello everybody, my name is Noobly, and welcome to a uh, Minecraft Let's Play in the year 2023. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to be playing the Craft for Life edition, the hardcore version. Uh, this is a, a mod pack that I've actually streamed quite a bit in the past. This is not my world. I've just been playing for a little bit, and I'm like, you know what? I want to make... Uh, a, a video series out of this because I've been playing the the mod pack so much lately. Uh, I'm just gonna call this one Hello YouTube. Uh, if you've never seen this mod pack before, it's essentially RL craft, but uh, zombies and only zombies. I think they said they took inspiration from like the Crafting Dead and they mixed that in with RL craft. A uh, bunch of other mod packs in here. Or not mod packs, but a bunch of other mods. Uh, it's very, very fun. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Nice. So, it looks like I start off in a jungle. It looks like I start off in winter as well. Because of uh, my cold breath. Uh, so, first things first. This is me. I've got a gray shirt and some ripped jeans. I don't need the French guide. Uh, this... This mod pack was made by a French uh, creator, by uh, Nizoka, or Nizoka. Um, very, very fun mod pack. I don't think he's working on the mod pack anymore, which sucks. There's a lot of stuff in here that's broken. Um, sadly, I don't think it'll ever be fixed. Uh, so let's see, I'll leave some beans in here. Don't need rotten food. Uh, I still don't know. Yeah, there's no, like... Nothing to use with biodegradable item. Can't place it, can't do nothing. So it's useless. All right. <clears throat> so, ah, winter time. I was right. If you never played RL Craft, you got to break grass to get plant fibers. Seeds are also kind of important. I'll worry about that later. Uh, because you cannot break wood. Let's go ahead and get a bit of mud too. Mud will kind of be important later. Uh see, I don't think I can do anything else. I can make mud blocks. Yeah, waterproof planks. That's what I'm going to need. Oh, I can make bricks too. I didn't know that actually. Um, so yeah, that's going to be important. I'm probably going to freeze to death. <laughs> this is actually starting out exactly how my, uh, my stream did many months ago. I need to hurry up and craft some torches. Give me sticks. I don't know if you guys can see the stuttering every now and then. That's just the mod pack. <laughs> it's not the best optimized. So another thing with this mod pack though, I don't know if this is how RL Craft is. I haven't played too much RL Craft. Uh, you can actually break dirt and it gives you flint. Flint is extremely important. Oh God, yep, I am freezing. Uh, I'm going to get uh, hyperthermia or hypothermia, whichever one it is, I'm going to die. Charcoal. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Ah, torches are unlit, by the way. <laughs> Wait, can I make flint and steel out of sticks? Oh, I can. Yes, yes, yes. Eh, eh. Uh. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot how to play Minecraft. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, torches. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, a bunch of stuff just happened at once. <laughs> uh, torches actually, when you craft them, are unlit. And they only last for uh, about a day, I think it said, yeah. Uh, yes, after one full day in Minecraft, so like, what is it, 25 minutes? I heard something. Oh, it's just a bird still. After like uh, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, the normal Minecraft day, yes. They, um, they will go out. Uh, they're supposed to stay in, um, in the same spot so you can relight them with flint and steel. I've never actually seen that happen. You usually just see them disappear. Also, as you can see, my inventory is blocked out. So I can't just put stuff in here. The mod pack says you only got two hands. That's it. Just your two hands. You have to crack. Uh, you have to craft backpacks and uh, tool tool belts, stuff like that. Um, it's a it's a pretty hard mod pack. I I love it so much. It's so much fun. I wish that it was still getting, uh, 
like uh, love. I wish that the developer was still working on it. I just need more flint. Actually, I think I have plenty of flint. So with this, we can create our first tool, a little tiny flint hatchet. And another cool part about this mod pack, when you chop a tree, it all tips over. And you can actually uh, kill mobs with that too. It's no timber mod where like the tree goes and like, you know, <laughs> gives you everything at once. But uh, it's, it's still cool. I like it a lot. Uh, drop my beans for a second here. Pick up all the wood. Uh, forests are big no-no zones. Uh, in this mod pack, zombies actually roam forests quite a bit. And um, at night, uh, they just start leaving the forest. Uh, so glad I haven't spawned next to, next to a zombie. Oh, there's some mountains right there. Snowy mountain. So I need to get away from the snow because uh, getting wool is extremely hard in this mod pack too. <laughs> it's just a hard mod pack. I think this was the flint and steel. Or actually, you know, I <laughs> there is a flint and steel I threw. <laughs> There's already junk all over the place. Uh, okay. Lost my flint and steel. <laughs> But it's fine. I can make another one. I just need one quick one real quick. So, the fun part about this mod pack. I don't know if it's intentional or if they forgot. I think it's just the bird again. Okay. <laughs> ah! Uh, let me... Oh, no, that's the one I just made. So, I don't know if it was intentional, but... Uh, you know, like normal Minecraft, you can smelt uh, wood, turn it into charcoal, but the charcoal, hold on, if I can get to it, the charcoal only smelts one item, but if you use nine pieces of charcoal to make a block, it smelts 80 items. Not only that, it's an infinite light source. You can place the block, light it with the flint and steel, and it makes an infinite light source. And uh, what this whole thing was uh, coming around to. Uh, so again, you smelt it, makes one item. Or put it in a uh, crafting with flint and steel. Oh, no. It doesn't work with pine wood. <laughs> give, give me a second. Give me a second. Spruce wood, please. Yeah. So when you place a log with flint and steel in crafting, you get five pieces of charcoal that is bonkers okay um let's go ahead and make a crafting table drop the seeds for now Doot. um for now i'm probably just going to be sleeping on the open ground uh that just seems like the easiest thing to do real quick i usually do that uh in this mod pack anyways Another fun thing, ooh, lumber. I don't remember seeing lumber before. Um, when you put stuff into your crafting table, it stays there. So if you're very, very low on space, you can just use a crafting table. <laughs> uh, I also do really want to get through the night because uh, zombies are attracted to light. <laughs> so if it's dark, I think it was just the pig. I had heard a sound and it scared me for a second. Um, but yeah, so if it's too dark and uh, zombies will follow the light and uh, it's kind of cool. So that means that you can't even like, uh, if you're, well not can't make your base too bright, but if your base is too bright, uh, each night you'll just have swarms of zombies coming to your door. There's the wood. I am getting cold again. Uh, so yeah, I really want to get out of here, but it is like winter time, so I don't think leaving here is going to do anything. Also, when you do sleep, I don't know if you noticed everything was all fuzzy and stuff, you do get debuffs every time you sleep. Uh, I think it's different when you sleep with a bed. I actually very, very, very rarely get to sleep in a bed when I play this mod pack. <laughs> um... 
like I said, wool is extremely hard to find. You can find like sheep, but whenever you um whenever you like shear them, it's not wool that you can use. I don't know if that was intended, but yeah, it's it's kind of dumb in a way. Uh, please, okay. For some reason, it wasn't it wasn't warming me up in my hands. I don't know why. It normally does. There we go. I'm, oh god, I'm not sleepy anymore. All right, let's get a bunch of wood here. But yeah, I really am not liking this spawn. There's a bunch of wood here, which is very, very good, but besides that, it's not a good spot to be. Oh, okay. We don't need wood chips, flint rock. Okay, I'm getting cold again. Let's see here. I think I could use flint to make like a... Um, what you might call it? A uh, campfire. Oh, I can still make more. Yes, good. So now, <laughs> like I said, take all your charcoal, make a block of charcoal, and I'm just gonna make some flint right there. And now it is a permanent light source, and it can smelt 80 items in a furnace. So okay, I think I want to try to get out of here. Or at least build a home. I guess that could be step one real quick is build a home. I think for now I'm just going to do like a basic 3x3. Three three. Maybe 5x5? Five five? I do like my 5x5 five five houses. Nah, nah. For now, basic. Basic house for survival. I need more pine wood or I will go crazy that it's too different. How different does it look? Very. Oh boy. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's work with it. Let's work with it. Now I need more oak. Oh wait, that's still spruce. <laughs> oak planks. Boom. Oh, Jesus. That scared me. <laughs> let's put that there real quick. The mod pack also says zombies can smell you. Don't know how true that is, but this is a one zombie. The first zombie on day two. Bonk and bonk and bonk. You can do critical hits uh, aiming for the head. Um, I actually don't know. Like I've never, I've tried running and jumping and that does not seem to change the damage. Uh, so I don't think that's actually a feature in this mod pack. This is going to be an extremely ugly house to start with. <laughs> really ugly. <laughs> doot, doot. Okay. I already talked about the light, but I'm going to have a few windows so that way I can at least see whenever things are sneaking up on me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bring it on. Okay, sweet, I can reach him from here. Ah! Uh, he, like, jumped up. <laughs> oh, he dropped carrot and skin and fabric. That's all good stuff, actually. Here we go. Oh, my hatchet's about to break. Go, nice. Got him. Easy. And then let's do this right here. Nice. So there we go. First home acquired. I think there was sand nearby. Was there sand over here? Actually, you know what? Screw it. It fits. This grass. Ba bam. We have uh, our first kind of house. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, fun fact, guys. You can't open, uh, you can't open doors whenever you have the, uh, the chest in your hands. I wanted to try to find a spot for the block of charcoal, but I think you would just burn the house down. If the house was made out of stone, it'd be better. 
Does this work? Yes, that does work. Little baby flint and steel. What happened? What? Yeah, this is... Uh, remember when I said the mod pack's kind of broken? This is what I meant. <laughs> so, it's like because these are like made just slightly... Oh, never mind then. Um, sometimes when they're made like slightly at different times, they just won't... Uh, Jesus. Oh, I don't have my axe. I don't have my axe. Okay. Okay. Quick weapon. Quick weapon. Does this make anything? It does not. Okay. Quick weapon. Um, uh, I'm panicking. Don't panic. Don't panic. There we go. Flint axe. Run. <laughs> uh... Oh, he didn't even see me. Getting getting hit by a zombie is uh, no joke. It's no joke in this mod pack. Uh, one hit could just really, really hurt. There's my hatch. I don't care. I needed a new one anyways. Actually, let's take one stick. So I think that made like a little shovel. Yeah. And with flint, if you put them like this, you get reinforced flint. Using reinforced flint, we can actually make real tools. Was hoping I could find sand. I'm just gonna avoid him for now. Oh, oh, he smelled me. Okay, I need to drink some water real quick, so let's drop that and... There we go. And whenever you drink water that's unfiltered, you get a thirst debuff, so it just makes you more thirsty. But if you're right next to a water source, like how I just put my house, uh, it's fine. Oh boy. I want to take care of this one, actually. Um, they are also uh, attracted to sound. So if there's too many zombies on your lawn, uh, like the good old Plants vs. Zombies once told us, to get the zombie off your lawn. i drop that for now. Do, 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 do. There we go. So since I can't have actual windows, I'll just do not that. I guess from the inside. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Will it work if I do it at the top? It does. But there we go. So now we have some windows so I can kind of peek out, look around if I want to, and we can whack the zombies. And we have a little bit of warmth. Okay, so with the plant fiber, you can just use one stick and place these. I don't know how to separate them like other people do but you place those and you can get string wow what can i do with string i can make a fishing rod a bow cloth table of ages oh because i downloaded another mod oh 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 because i downloaded the weapons it's like a weapon mod All right, for now, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I say we made some pretty good progress. It's day three. Uh, I have a permanent light source and permanent heat source. I have an actual home with windows. It's not, you know, it doesn't look nice, but it gets the job done. Uh, I'm gonna pick up this, this uh, what was it? Parsnip, parsnip in a pear tree. <laughs> Eat some breakfast. All right, thank you everybody for watching this video. Uh, I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more of this mod pack. I love this mod pack, and uh, I just, again, figured why not start recording videos again since I play it so much. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,